For the first time in 25 years, Kia has introduced a drastic new company logo. The new mark brings forth a modernist, future-forward style minimizing and connecting the badge elements, hinting at a new era of innovation and shift into electric vehicles. Today we asked two video editors and a graphic designer a few questions about the new logo, and we even broke down Kia's dramatic fiery drone logo unveiling. Question one, what do you think of the new Kia logo? I actually really like it. Um, I think it um, really encapsulates the brand. Um, and I think Kia's needed that for, for a long time for their brand to kind of match the product. I just think it did a good job of transforming pretty much just a logo type on top of a circle. Um, to something more sophisticated that kind of combines both shapes in a minimalist type of way. It kind of makes sense. They're saying, hey, like we've got an awesome product. We've made it budget friendly for so long, but we're here to stand behind the quality of what we're creating. And, you know, it deserves a big show. Well, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, let's talk about the K and the N thing. Like, as soon as the first glance, I see the K, and then I see like a backwards N, and it's not legible as the old Kia logo was, but it still works in the sense that it's moving, it creates movement with the italicized like sans serif. I just thought it was like so far from the original, but at the same time, the tagline has changed movement that inspires. So, I mean, the logo definitely has movement and it correlates with where the brand is trying to go because they're moving from fossil fuel to um, more, they promise to have like 11 more EV vehicles. It's definitely a little bit more eye-catching. You see it and you're, you're kind of interested, you know, it, it, I feel like it gives off a pretty cool, like, yeah, like futuristic type vibe, if you will. They're doing a really great job reinventing their cars and giving them a more futuristic, uh, techie type feel. That's like a good direction that they're headed. Uh, I feel like it's gonna, for sure, catch the attention of a lot of the younger generation. And um, yeah, I feel like their logo really represents that. In the next couple of years, we'll probably see some, uh, I don't know if futuristic is the right word, but we're probably gonna see some pretty cool cars being released from Kia. I think they're gonna go a more aggressive direction with their, with their modeling and whatnot. Question two, how do you envision this making your life easier or harder as an editor or designer? The fact that that oval is not there definitely makes it easier on me as an editor. I'm not in print, but I really, when I saw the kind of unveiling and saw it up in lights and stuff, I wasn't so sure about it. Um, but when I saw it like actually on a car, I just, I think it works so well to be, you know, embossed a little bit um, because it does have that rounder feel. I think it's easier because um, what they have now, as I saw in their brand guidelines, is, you know, you can put it on ads without that white background. Usually you couldn't use the other logo without the white space. Um, so it makes it easier in that sense. Uh, they did get a little stricter with the guidelines as far as like, the font usage and um, spacing around the logo, um, but nothing complicated. If anything, I do think it lends itself well to like um, advertising. There's definitely, I think, more to work with on the editing side, and I think I feel like it does look really good on screen. You know, like it, it's uh, it's not as cartoony, um, and I feel like that's a good direction that they're headed with their brand. Bonus question: What do you think of Kia's dramatic logo unveiling via synchronized drones? They did two things that I thought was really, really unique uh, for production. They did the, I don't know what the term is for, but where you basically sync a whole bunch of drones up to a computer and then, uh, yeah, they all work together in sync, right? So it's like this computerized function that uh, the drones basically like fly themselves in a formation. I, I think that's sick. I've seen that one other time and that was at Disney where I think like at Epcot they did like some performance where they use these uh, drones. But the, the cooler piece of technology that I'm really interested in is the FPV drone they use, which is first person vision, I believe. Uh, and 
Basically, the drone you see early on in the clip is this kind of bulky, weird looking drone that the operator is uh, flying that with goggles on their face. So they can see exactly what the drone sees. And you see some of those cool shots where the drone's flying through fireworks and around these other drones. You see this drone doing really cool, aggressive moves um, because they're able to use that first person perspective. So they're able to fly as if they were the drone, if that makes sense. So it kind of brings the operator and the drone uh, together as one. And you get you see a lot of really cool shots that they did with that. Well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed our Kia logo reaction video. For more reaction videos, automotive podcasts, and more, visit our YouTube page and get more info at GoSoCal.com.